Hi, this is Asta Mewada. Welcome to my channel. First, I am going to share one experience of mine with you all. When I came to Baroda, though I am a Gujarati, since I am from abroad, my Gujarati was really bad. Because the only interaction in this language was at home. Elsewhere, it was always English. So, when I came to Baroda, people used to make a lot of fun of my language. That's when I realized that I was speaking really wrong Gujarati. Okay? But I did not let that stop me from learning the language. I took help of two, three friends and I told them that you correct me whenever I'm speaking wrong Gujarati. And they helped me out. Some will make fun, some will not make fun. The real good friends will always help you out. Okay? And karta karta mo adi saras Gujarati. Okay? <laughs> now why I am sharing this with you all? See, I am in an educational field. In this educational field since past 15 to 20 years, I have worked with hostel students, I have worked with day boarding students. And I have marked that though children have taken uh, admission in English medium schools, they don't speak English confidently. And in my teaching experience also, I have seen children always say, Madam, Hindi mein bol do, mujhe English mein word nahi pata hai. You may be also doing this, right? So now, in this video, that is why I have decided to make this video, where I am going to give you five tips on how you can speak English confidently, right? So, the five tips which I give you, I want you to see them till the end. And do leave a like if you like the video. And I don't want just a like. I want all my children to promise me that they will implement these five tips in their life. Now, the first thing that I would like to point out to you is that we learn a language by listening. Uh, let us see. When you were small, like, how did we learn our mother tongue or any other language that was, uh, that's being spoken somewhere in your neighborhood, say like Hindi. You may be a Gujarati family, but you may be having someone from the north uh, who speaks in Hindi at home, right? But you do catch up that language. You are not going to school, you are still small, but you have picked up the words. You have picked up the language and in fact you are speaking quite fluently. You may be speaking Hindi very well without any grammatical mistakes. Okay, so we did not learn to speak as soon as we were born. We slowly picked up words from our parents or siblings or people who were around us, right? We then slowly started to understand their meanings like Papa, Mummy, etc. These words were repeated to us until we started speaking them, right? Your parents, used, your mother must have surely made you say, Say Mama, Beta Mama Bolo, Beta Mama Bolo, Beta Papa Bolo, <laughs> right? You recall all that, right? You were not going to any school that time, but you were repeatedly told these words. You heard them again and again. You were listening these words again and again. Slowly, these words started. You picked these words up and slowly they started giving you some meanings, right? We then slowly came to know whom to call daddy and whom to call mummy and whom to call bhaiya. We learned the names, right? That is how you learn these words when you were small, a baby. Then, as we grew, we learned to speak full sentences and communicate what we wanted to say. You should, surely did not go to any school where you were taught that this is a verb or a noun or anything else in grammar and that a noun comes after determiner like a, uh, the, some, etc. Did you? Surely not. So, how did you learn to speak full sentences without making any grammatical mistakes? Obviously, by listening. You were listening and listening carefully and so you just knew that no, I want a chocolate, didn't you? You knew you wanted to ask for a chocolate, you know what word to use, right? So remember the first thing is that we learn a language by listening, listening to people when they speak. The more you listen, the better you get. Okay, now let's go to the second point. Second point is that you need observation. You learn by observing others. Right? You may be in a school where the language, the medium of instruction over there is English. Right? Or you may be in college also. There also the medium of instruction is English. But 
प्रॉब्लम कहाँ पे आती है वेन वी आर इन स्कूल और इन कॉलेज विथ फ्रेंड्स वी टेंड टू स्पीक इन अवर मदर टंग और हिंदी राइट विच एवरीबडी अंडरस्टैंड isn't it it's more easy and it's more fun like yes we like to speak in our mother tongue right with our friends bhai aaj to kya locha mara maine class mein sounds more fun like than saying that i messed up in class today isn't it <laughs> you will enjoy speaking in your language more or in hindi okay something that a language which everybody understands no matter which state you may be from right so what i'm trying here to say is that we tend to interact with others in either our mother tongue or hindi hum logo ke sath ya to hindi mein baat karna pasand karte hain means ek nikal hi jata hai naturally ya to hum hamari mother tongue mein baat karte hain to ye kyu hota hai so why should you do this this is a place where you can learn to command the language agar aap यहाँ पे लोगों के साथ अंग्रेजी में बात करोगे राइट तो आप वो आपके दोस्त है वो थोड़े आपकी मजाक उड़ाने वाले हैं दे आर नॉट गोइंग मेक फन ऑफ यू दे आर योर फ्रेंड्स इन फैक्ट इफ वन ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स स्पीक्स बेटर इंग्लिश यू और शी मे इवन करेक्ट यू राइट विच इज अ बिग हेल्प वेन फ्रेंड्स करेक्टर्स वी रिमेंबर दैट मिस्टेक मोर मोर देन कम्पेयर टू वेन टीचर करेक्टर्स राइट सो वी लर्न बेटर फ्रॉम आर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो Yes, but there is something important here. When I speak, oh, another thing that you face is that when I speak in English, my friend says, "Zada English mat far." वहीं पर break लग जाती है हमारी, isn't it? तो ऐसे समय पे क्या बोलने का? First of all, इसका effect ही क्यों होना चाहिए आपको? बोलने दे उसको, let him say. You tell him, yes, मैं तो फाडूंगा या फाडूंगी English में. क्यों नहीं क्योंकि मुझे अपनी जिंदगी बनानी है मुझे कुछ करना है ओके okay? आगे जाना है मुझे जिंदगी में बिकॉज सी वंस यू आर आउट ऑफ स्कूल वंस यू आर आउट ऑफ कॉलेज राइट एंड यू विल स्टार्ट लुकिंग फॉर अ जॉब मीडियम ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन दे आर गोइंग टू आस्क यू दैट दे फर्स्ट थिंग दे आर गोइंग टू ऑब्जर्व इज दैट यू आर स्टडीड इन इंग्लिश मीडियम एंड यू आर नॉट स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश प्रॉपरली राइट तो इंग्लिश में पढ़ाई की है तो इंग्लिश अच्छे से आना बहुत जरूरी है यू शुड बी हैविंग अ गुड कमांड ओवर द लैंग्वेज राइट तो आपको अगर जिंदगी में कुछ करना है अगर आपको जिंदगी में आगे बढ़ना है तो इंग्लिश आपके लिए बहुत जरूरी है ये आप उनको समझा यू कैन आंसर बैक लाइक दैट टू देम राइट एंड यू कैन टेल देम तो मैं तो इंग्लिश में ही बोलूंगी या फाड़ूंगी राइट दिस प्रॉब्लम आई थिंक एवरी वन ऑफ अस मस्ट बी फेसिंग ज्यादा इंग्लिश में मत फाड़ राइट so don't bother what they are saying right you you concentrate on observing what uh how others are speaking listen to videos uh listen to your teachers when they are speaking when they are speaking a new word giving you meanings in class i have observed children don't write the meanings why you should write down the meaning immediately see that you uh, improve your vocabulary right naya word seekhne ka न्यू वर्ड सीखना चाहिए आपको ठीक है बहुत जरूरी है और वो जब नया वर्ड सीखते हो उसको आपके कॉन्वर्जेशन में इम्प्लीमेंट करो उसको यूज दैट वर्ड राइट सो दैट यू लर्न टू यूज इट यू स्टॉप देन वंस यू स्टार्ट यूजिंग दोज वर्ड ऑल्सो टीचर योर योर फ्रेंड माइट इवन करेक्ट यू के नहीं ग्रामेटिकली ऐसे बोलते हैं यहाँ पे गलती की है ये वर्ड यहाँ पे आता है एंड यू विल श्योरली इम्प्रूव योर लैंग्वेज so uh, second important point is you have to learn by we learn by observing others right so see that you are in a surrounding where the english language is being spoken it is very important right so this is my third point that please stop bothering what others will say right bolne do logo ko ki zyada english mat baat ya kuch bhi bolne do aap राइट right? आप अपना अंग्रेजी में बात करो जो मैंने आपको रीजन दी उससे उसकी उस वजह से ओके माय फोर्थ पॉइंट इज डोंट बी अफ्रेड टू स्पीक द रॉन्ग इंग्लिश सी देयर इज एब्सोल्युटली नथिंग रॉन्ग एटलीस्ट यू आर ट्राइंग राइट अनलेस यू डोंट ट्राई यू विल नॉट नो व्हाट इज राइट एंड व्हाट इज रॉन्ग I have marked that when you are teaching in class, when teaching in class, children often say that, uh, "Madam, 
हिंदी में बोल दो मुझे इंग्लिश में नहीं पता राइट मोस्ट ऑफ यू मेनी ऑफ यू मस्ट बी डूइंग दैट यू मस्ट हैव डन दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट द टीचर इज टीचिंग यू नो व्हाट शी इज एक्सप्लेनिंग राइट बट व्हेन यू हैव टू गिव एन आंसर व्हेन शी आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दैट टॉपिक दैट शी इज टीचिंग यू आर नॉट एबल टू आंसर व्हाई बिकॉज़ यू डोंट नो द वर्ड फॉर दैट इन इंग्लिश राइट एंड यू हेजिटेट you think if i speak wrong english my friends will make fun of me or the teacher will scold me absolutely not if i was in your place i would not bother what others are thinking and i would speak even the wrong english but i would uh, put my point through see the teacher will in fact surely understand what you are trying to say and in fact she will always give you the uh, encourage you by giving you the correct sentence right she will even give you the new word the exact word that you are supposed to use right so don't bother even if you speak wrong english there is absolutely nothing wrong in it right we learn by making mistakes only we learn from mistakes only right so that's the way we learn now what if you didn't have this option what if you are a gujarati student studying in school suddenly your father has got a job in some remote place in say kerala and the people there don't speak hindi most of them don't speak they will always communicate either in their uh, their language or in uh, english right so that time what will you do in such a situation you are left with no option but to start learning to speak in english am i not right what will you do jo points maine aage diye hai aap you will start listening you will start observing you will listen to what others are speaking you will listen to you will observe them and then slowly you learn to master your command your language right so you have absolutely no option then there you have no option so you will see how easily you catch up the language then and you will realize are ye maine pehle kiya hota to hai ki nahi and then say for example if you land up in a place like japan there communication is very difficult people don't speak much in english over there and you are forced to learn japanese again you have to learn a new language you have no option it's just like english you you have to learn just like you have to learn english same way you will have to learn japanese also you have no option you have to uh, pick up that language okay or you may be you may be grown up and you might, you yourself might have got a job in japan opportunity is very good the pay is very good excellent compared to what you are getting in your country maybe right so that you will not make language barrier uh, barrier for you right for a good job opportunity right so this is one the fourth point that i want to communicate to you that please even if you are speaking wrong english don't be afraid you will not learn a language if you sit scared at home that what will happen if i speak wrong english people will make fun of me or anything else right so stop bothering what others are thinking just doesn't matter now my last fifth and last point is that stop thinking in other languages when you have to write or answer in english right jab aapko kahi pe angrezi mein bolna hai ya likhna hai right to aap apni mother tongue mein ya dusri language mein sochna band karo ये बहुत ही कॉमन पॉइंट है यू विल फाइंड दिस इन मेनी वीडियोस, ओके एंड आई एम आल्सो पुटिंग दिस आई एम स्ट्रेसिंग ऑन दिस पॉइंट दैट यू स्टॉप थिंकिंग इन योर मदर टंग होता क्या है कि हम जिस लैंग्वेज में कंफर्टेबल हैं हम उसी लैंग्वेज में सोचते हैं एंड देन जब हमें लिखना पड़ता है आंसर लिखना होता है या बोलना पड़ता है अंग्रेजी में राइट right? अब आप तभी सोच रहे हो अपनी लैंग्वेज में राइट right? और फिर आप वो वर्ड को सर्च करते हो अपने हेड में कि हाँ इसको क्या बोलते हैं अंग्रेजी में मैं भूल गया मुझे नहीं आता है ठीक है स्टॉप दिस वेर यू नीड टू स्पीक इन इंग्लिश स्टार्ट थिंकिंग ऑल्सो इन इंग्लिश आपको सोचना भी उसी लैंग्वेज में है जिसमें बोलना है जैसे हिंदी में अगर लिखना है तो हिंदी में सोचो अंग्रेजी में लिखना है तो अंग्रेजी में सोचो दिस इज रियली गोइंग टू डू द जॉब instead of fumbling and thinking what is the english word for some word whatever you want to say right so i'm stressing on this last point that start thinking also in english then only you will be uh, able to write and speak english fluently okay otherwise you will be always fumbling for words uh, in your head so for hindi english mein kya kehte hain theek hai